name is Karina and I'm here to provide a review on the Dyson V12 Detect Slim Total Clean. Really impressed with this product. It is a cordless vacuum, bagless, um, that actually saves me a lot of time and helps me keep on top of the amount of dust um, and hair in the house. So I've got a couple of girls and a couple of animals that um, lose a lot of hair and this helps me keep on top of it on a regular basis. So the things that I like about it is that Dyson have made it really easy to get started. They provide you with a yellow slip in the box that has a QR code. That QR code takes you directly to the website and allows you to register your details um, in, in less than a minute, which is really handy. There's also a easy to read, well explained, uh, manual on the website that you can download found the diagram super easy to follow and Dyson also include a flyer on how to assemble charge and get started um, as soon as you open and unpack your items so what you can see here is what you get you'll get a bracket that you can put up on your laundry wall and actually will hold a couple of sock, a couple of heads in there as well um, they provide you with the screws for that and a pamphlet on how to pop that up on the wall um, with some easy steps. I haven't done that yet, but we'll be doing that. Um, you also get four smaller heads here that help you through the house in your smaller areas for dusting, uh, also uh, for hard, uh, stubborn dirt on your carpet. Uh, they've given you a hard bristle end there. And you've got three heads. So your standard direct head uh, with your um, cone under there that you can use on both the carpet and the hard floors. And it's got a really good rotating arm. You've got another one that is an anti-tangle screw. This is one of my favorites because it's actually got a cone in there that's got a smaller end to, the, to one end. And that allows the hair to be picked up and taken straight up the nozzle um, and not be tangled on the cone. Uh, it's also really handy to use in the car and on furniture because it has this base that rotate, uh, that moves as you're vacuuming. So I've got to say, I've been attaching it directly to the head, taking it to the car and finding that I'm vacuuming my car in a third of the time uh, and getting just as great if not better result than I was getting with my vacuum cleaner uh, previously. Loving the fact that it's taken me a third of the time. So it gives me the opportunity to keep on top of the dirt um, more efficiently and effectively. So loving that item. Uh, the other thing that you get is this head and this is the one that we're all excited about I think. Uh, it's got a button here that a uh, if you turn it's off and if you turn it on it actually will provide a green light uh, that highlights all the dust particles on your hard floor this has really been um, a game changer for me I initially vacuumed the floor the hard floor with the direct head and then used this head with the laser light and found that what I thought was a clean floor wasn't because it actually detected all these little specks of dust on the floor that I had missed. So I now vacuum my hard floors with this one um, because that green light gives me good visual on what is on the floor and whether I've picked it up or not. Gotta say it works better when there's not so much light because obviously it's, it's protruding a green laser beam. Um, but you still, it still can be seen enough to be able to clean during the daylight. So it's, it's not a deterrent, um, but as I said, it's better when the actual lights are off, you can see it more clearly. Um, on the flyer that you do get, it actually explains to you the type of allergens that, or dust particles that it picks up. So I don't know if you can see that there, but it talks about allergens, microscopic dust, dust mites and sugar. And these, this will display on your, on your LCD 
and it will show you how much of each you've collected from the room as you're going. Um, that's really handy for trying to determine if you've eliminated a particular dust mite or allergens in the room uh, for allergy, allergy sufferers. The other thing that I like is that it actually gives you a reading of your battery life. So I'm going to actually show you on there. So easy to turn on. There's a red button here. And what I was showing you in the pamphlet there is now listed here. So you can see what I've picked up in this room. It's also showing you how much uh, battery life I have left. Now I've actually got that currently set on medium and that tells you that on medium I had 37 minutes left. Um, I find when this is fully charged on eco I've got about an hour's worth of battery life um, and as I said on medium about 35 minutes when it's fully charged. Boost only gives you about seven minutes battery life. I haven't had to use Boost yet it's a very strong suction. I found though that uh, I normally use medium for when I'm vacuuming the floors. I find that's ample enough. And it also uh, has the ability to adjust its suction when you're moving from a hard floor to a carpet or a mat. It tends to know and it, it has the ability to adjust its suction capabilities. So I really like using medium. Um, and haven't had to use Boost. When I am dusting the Venetian blinds, as I was mentioning before, this tool here is extremely good for that. Um, I find that I will use the Eco, the Eco option because I don't need such hard suction to, to, to uh, pick up the webs and the dust off those. Uh, this is your this is where it's all gets stored when you pick it up and it has a maximum line there and once it reaches that it, it recommends that you empty it. I find that I've gone above that a few times and, and it hasn't been an issue, it hasn't compromised the use of the product. Um, it's not recommended but I'm just letting you know that it hasn't been an issue for me. Uh, the filter is at the back here and that's really easy to just pull out um, and the manual explains to you how to clean that and that it needs to be dried before it can go back in here. They recommend to do that sort of overnight. Uh, that's your battery under there. I guess my only recommendation is that I would probably look at purchasing an additional battery and have that on full store uh, ready to use when this one runs out um, for when I'm doing you know, large vacuum and dust jobs. But I find at the moment, when I'm just picking it up to, to run the vacuum over the floor, it's been ample every time and I haven't had a problem with that. So I've got to say, I'm impressed with the Dyson, really love the product, um, so happy that I've now got one and uh, not really sure when I'll be using my vacuum uh, because I'm finding that this one has been a game changer for me. More efficient, really lightweight to use, easy to change the heads, easy to clean, bagless, cordless, I'm happy.